If you genuinely are fearful that Trump's gonna get elected and dismantle our democracy, you would want the best possible candidate to run against Trump. But the Democratic Party didn't allow for an actual primary election. So we, by definition, do not have the best candidate to go up against Donald Trump, but we must vote for Biden anyway. Hillary Clinton went on the Jimmy Fallon show to talk about the upcoming election. Jimmy Fallon brought up the choice that we have two candidates to choose from that people aren't very happy with. And Hillary Clinton told people to get over it, that those are the choices. Anna Kasparian was not having that. She was very unhappy with what Hillary Clinton had to say. We're going to go through clips of Anna Kasparian breaking down what Hillary Clinton had to say about the election and giving her insight into this. And I will give my own insight as well. So first, let's hear a bit of the clip of Anna Kasparian talking about this Hillary Clinton appearance on The Tonight Show. It's that time of the election cycle where twice failed Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton comes out and chides the Democratic voters into supporting her preferred candidate in the general election. Now, uh, she did the chiding, she did the scolding uh, during a recent appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Let's get to how this exchange went down. It started with Jimmy Fallon saying, I mean, it's President Joe Biden versus former President Donald Trump. We know that. Clinton weighs in saying, yes, it is, it is. Fallon responds, what do you say to voters who are upset that those are the two choices? Clinton responds, get over yourself. Those are the two choices. So I wanna stop right here. Get over yourself. These are the two choices. Of course, she doesn't care. But this is obscene to me that in a country of 330, 340 million people, that our choices for the second time, our choices are Donald Trump and Joe Biden. These two old, out of touch guys with terrible policies, both of them. Bad policies, they're too old. We need younger, better candidates. Out of 330 million people, there aren't two guys other than this, two people, two human beings, two women, whatever. This is really the best that we can do as a country. And this is the point that Anna Kasparian is making. And then Fallon says, yeah, I love that. Now, of course, Hillary Clinton loves that it's those two choices, because in her mind, how could anyone even consider voting for Donald Trump if you're a self-identified Democrat. If you're an independent, you must vote for Joe Biden. So let's get to those uh, comments. She says, you know, it's kind of like one is old and effective and compassionate, has a heart and really cares about people. And one is old and has been charged with 91 felonies. I don't understand why this is even a hard choice, really. I don't understand it. Further, she says, but we have to go through the election. Hopefully people will realize what's at stake because it's an existential question. What kind of country we're, we're going to have? What kind of democracy we're going to have? And people who blow that off are not paying attention. I would argue the Democratic Party is blowing that off. The Democratic Party insisted on cheerleading Joe Biden running for reelection knowing full well that he's unpopular, knowing full well that the dude's 81 years old and looks 81 years old, or I should say older than that. Uh, I mean, it's just, if you genuinely are fearful that Trump's gonna get elected and dismantle our democracy, you would want the best possible candidate to run against Trump. But the Democratic Party didn't allow for an actual primary election. So this is another great, a couple of great points that she makes here. As far as the, she says the, the Democratic Party did not allow for an actual primary election. Anna Kasparian is right. This isn't just a Democratic Party thing. This is also the Republican Party. When they have an incumbent, they do not have a primary. To me, all of the, the president, senator, you know, members of Congress, Governors, they should all be primaried every election. If you can't beat a primary candidates running against you in your own party, you don't deserve to get reelected. If, you know, Donald Trump, to his credit, got through a primary, he had other people running against him. 
Joe Biden did not. There were not other Democrats running against him. If he's actually the best candidate, he should be able to beat anybody from his party who would go up against him. But they never do that when it's an incumbent. They are just the heir apparent to get the nomination again. Also, the Democrats, they've done this since 2016. So the first time that Trump ran against Hillary Clinton, the second time he ran against Biden in 2020, and now they're strictly running on, yeah, we suck, but these other guys over there, Donald Trump and the Republicans, they're a danger to democracy. You can only go back to that well so many times before people start to say, but you don't do anything. You're not offering us anything to vote for you. They, The Democrats should be running on policies like Medicare for all, strengthening Social Security, these kind of policies that are very, very popular. But they don't want to run on those because they're corporate overlords, just like it's both parties are bought off, just like the Republicans their cor- corporate overlords will not allow them to do that. So they run on fear. The Republicans, it's fear of, you know, immigrants are going to come and get you. Gay people are going to come and get you. Trans people are going to come and get you. Democrats, it's the fear that Donald Trump and the Republicans are going to overthrow democracy. And that's what Anna Kasparian is pointing out in her critique of Hillary Clinton. Let's listen to a bit more of Anna. Election. So we, by definition, do not have the best candidate to go up against Donald Trump. But we must vote for Biden anyway, because democracy is on the line. If the Democrats didn't take that seriously, why should the voters? That's what I want to know. Yeah, she she couldn't beat Obama. She couldn't beat Trump. Why are we even listening to her? Why are there not new voices in there, younger people, to be running a party instead of these people in their 70s and 80s. And it's the same thing with Congress. You have people in their 80s in Congress. We need term limits and we need age limits. Have a 65 cutoff and then you avoid this garbage. The primary the first time and uh, lost to Obama and then failed to win the general against Donald Trump. Should we really be listening to the woman who lost to Donald Trump? It's going to be another close election. Neither side is really offering anything to voters. No real policies. You know, Trump, it's all about the various factions that are coming to get us. Like I said, the Democrats, it they'll offer some minor crumbles to people, but it's no real changes that we actually need. Again, things like Medicare for all would be a huge winner, but they don't want to do that because it would go against their corporate overlords. So we're stuck with these two guys. The nice thing is we shouldn't have to deal with these two guys again the next time around. You wouldn't think. If Biden wins, you would hope that Trump would be too old to run the next time around. And if Trump wins, Biden will definitely be too old. So you would think the Democrats would have a younger candidate to run in an actual real primary the next time. So what do you think here? Is Hillary Clinton out of touch, which is what I say, and she should Hillary Clinton should go away, get her. She's lost twice. She doesn't shouldn't have any say in any of this. Is Anna Kasparian right that the Democrats don't care if they really cared, if they really believed that Donald Trump were a true threat to to democracy? Wouldn't they be putting up the best, youngest, brightest candidates that they possibly can? That's what I say that they should be doing. Both parties should be doing that. We should be getting great candidates in both parties, but we aren't. We're stuck with these two duds that the majority of Americans do not want Donald Trump and Joe Biden and Anna Kasparian did a great job of pointing this out. That's the one thing with the Young Turks and Anna is people think that they're totally on the side of the Democrats and they're not. They're on the side of progressives, and Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden are not progressives. But let me know what you think. Make sure to give me a like, give me a comment about this video, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.